Praise the Lord. Welcome to our power pack for this week. Thank you for joining me. I enjoy sharing these little nuggets with you, and I mean that with all of my heart. I want to turn your attention to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, and I want to read one verse of scripture and probably refer to maybe one or two more. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 in the 17th verse, pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. But listen to this in the Amplified Bible. It says in verse 17, be unceasing in prayer, praying perseveringly, praying perseveringly. You have to, and I have to, and we have to press through in prayer. We just don't pray a simple prayer, pray and then pray rather than get up and go about our business. We have to persevere. You know, I, 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 I was praying in tongues the other night and uh, and then after I got through praying in tongues, I opened up my Bible and I came to this scripture right here. It was like the Lord was saying to me, son, you're not done. Son, you think this is enough? You have to pray perseveringly. You have to stay with it. You have to break through. You have to let the Holy Ghost take a hold of this thing with you. And you don't take no for an answer. And you pray unceasingly. You pray throughout the day. You, you get up at night for whatever reason, pray in tongues before you go back to sleep. Press through. Tell the devil he's a liar and God is true. And I am encouraging you to pray perseveringly with an attitude, with a mindset. I will get what I'm praying about because I'm praying according to the word of God. See, this book is his will. And if we ask anything according to his will, then we know that he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, then we know that we have present tense amplified Bible. We know that we have the petitions that we've desired of him. You read in James chapter five, how Elijah was a like man, you know, a, a man rather in our likeness with like uh, uh, passions, et cetera. But when he prayed, the heavens shut for three and a half years. And when he prayed again, the rain came. And God wanted us to know he was just a natural man, a natural man, but he pressed, he persevered, he believed. He believed that, that when he talked to God, God would answer. We have to do the same thing, that when we talk to God, God will answer. And, and listen to me now, if we don't see the answer in a week, we persevere, man. We're not getting away from our faith. We're not moving away from our confident expectation. We're not getting away from our peace and our joy and our, and our standard of standing on the word of God. So I just want to encourage you, pray unceasingly. Jesus put it this way, men are always to pray and faint not. So pray throughout the day. Pray, worship, thank God. Let him know you're not giving up. Because listen, God is going to answer your prayer. Amen. God bless you. Let me hear from you. Go to bccenter.net. Click on Power Packs. Give me your comments. Know that the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their prayer. God loves you. And just always know.